Alright. Fire up the sounder. Yeah. And let's wait till that gets going. And then I guess we'll start thinking about heading out. I'm in no rush, I'm here pretty early. Sort of pays just to let the sun come up, just at least enough so you can see the surf. Like it's out there just now. You can only barely see what I'm doing, so we'll just chill for a second. See if the sun comes up just a little bit more. And then we'll uh, hit that surf. In the meantime, we'll get this ready. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, no way. Oh. Well, now we're wet. That's great. <laughs> nice big fat wave right in the face. Well, nice and wet, but feeling fresh for the morning. <laughs> but now that we're past those waves, have a look at this. It is dead flat. It was threatening to sort of get a bit windy this morning, but it sort of hasn't eventuated, which is good. So hopefully I get a couple of hours in before it picks up at all. This is great. This is the kind of weather you want. Still a bit overcast as well. Plenty of rain over the last couple of weeks. Sort of prevented me from getting out earlier this week. So, let's hope this trip sort of turns out to be a good one. I uh, have only had one trip out since Outer Rock, and uh, it wasn't very successful. I uh, paddled around, paddled my heart out, I went all the way out wide. A good, you know, 30k paddle, I'd say. All the way out to Pinnacles, gravel, covered every bit of the reef, and then some. And there was only one spotty that turned up on the troll cram at the end of it. And uh, he wasn't interested. <laughs> Just came and have a look at the camera and went, yeah, right. So we're trying something different. Today we're going to stick on reef and literally just drop liveys and uh, hope for something exciting. Clip the transducer on. So we're just starting to get the readings and the readings look good. Uh, before I put this bucket in, I'll grab this out. Here's something I haven't used in a long time. The old poor man's drone. The uh, big long camping pole stick. <laughs> Extendable pole. So yeah, we've got the long stick cam. Let's fire it up. This thing's pretty epic. Uh, well, I think it looks good anyway. Let's turn it on first because we won't be reaching it once it's up. And we extend, oh, extend it right out, and right up. And look at that. My drone costs a lot less than yours. Bit of a tight ass move, but that's what you gotta do when you don't have money for a fancy drone. <laughs> but um, yeah, I used to use this pole quite a lot. It's uh, it's a bit wobbly if you're doing a lot of paddling, so that's why I don't really use a lot these days. But it's pretty cool. Like if I, I'm gonna have it, I'll run it. I'll run with it that high, <laughs> and we'll see how that turns out. And if it becomes a problem, we'll have to bring it down a little bit. So let's jump on the baits. Okay, so we're going to start winding in a bit quicker. There's definitely sharks just cruising around. Just had like a nice decent sized shark just come up and follow that bait all the way up. So bait isn't going to be a problem, but I've got a feeling that sharks are going to be today. Which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But anyway, there's not much we can do about that. So push on and try our luck. 
Uh, there's no lack of... Look, let's see if he follows it up. Jesus, this bait is not going to be a problem. Oh, look, pillies! Shit! Quick, get those in. Oh, man. It's not mucking around. When the pillies are about, you load up. <laughs> All right. And we won't even bother. See, pillies just burn themselves out so quick that you don't even bother putting them in the live bait. Because they just... they'll All their scales pop off, they go berserk, and they just kill everything else in the bucket. Ah oh, man, what's going on here? Well, we're off for school. But we do have bait, so maybe we just put these baits straight out. What are we gonna do? I've got a feeling that this, uh... If that shark came up that quick, there's gonna be a lot here today. But I guess we've still gotta try. Why do I get the feeling I'm being followed all of a sudden? Proportion little sharks like he's just eating the sinkers. Uh, this is not much fun. What am I gonna do? Look how many there are, far out. Don't want to fall in here, right? Lose some toes. Okay, so bait one is pretty much just like a mackerel rig, bit of wire on it. But bait two is going to be going down deep all the way to the bottom. So I'm literally just using a circle hook straight through the nostril and he's going to find his way straight down to the bottom just like that so nothing overly complicated and then I'll just get it drop it straight down Ooh, turn that off as soon as I hit the bottom I'll wind it up a couple of notches and then I'm done and then we wait for a shark for a sharking of a lifetime <laughs> Oh great, look, I'm going back for my line, so I better fix that first. So we want very little drag on that because it's circle hook. Alright, we're away, we're ready. So I might head back to that mark that I was on. Maybe even try and catch a little bit more bait. I'm going to skirt the mark, I don't need to go right in the thick of it, I don't think, because I know what's in there. It's just going to be hammer time with sharks. Someone just had a go at that one. And it is continuing to have a go. Oh, here we go. Oh, something's on here. <laughs> oh, please don't be a shark. Yeah, it's going. Let's just turn it around here a bit. What's it going to be? Now, now that I'm facing the right way, tighten the drag a bit. I'm sort of heading up to the surface, which is nice for me. Let's see what we end up with here. Look at those head shakes. Let's tighten up a bit on him. The good thing about this is though, I'm getting to put a bit of hurt on this rod. I've had this rod for quite a while now and haven't really had a chance to sort of put any kind of pressure on it. Came with the slammer. That's a nice drag sound. I'm enjoying this. Oh well, a bit of excitement anyway. What do we got? And we have a shark. Just a little reef shark.
See, look at all these lines. We can only just assume there's sharks. So, yeah, I guess we'll just put this wire away. Why is this thing hasn't gone off yet? Maybe we should wind that in. Check if there's still a bait on there. Still a bait there, still swimming around. <laughs> Do we bother? Alright, so this will be the last shark I catch today, I think. Yeah, this one's taking me for a bit of a ride. Maybe you could head back towards the beach, buddy. That'll help me out. Because I think that's where I'm going to be heading. <laughs> Look how far I've pulled my sinker up. Here, look, heading out to sea. He's just car for it. Look at him. Well, the good thing about it is he's taking me for a nice little tour out a bit deeper. Maybe we'll see something exciting on the sounder. Look, he's going back under now. He's decided. <laughs> you heard me. Yeah, he's turning the kayak pretty easy. He might be slightly bigger, this one. Let's have a look. I don't want to pull it too hard, though. I actually wouldn't mind getting a look at this guy. He seems to be putting in a bit more of a... He's got a bit more go than the others. So I don't want him to rub my leader off. I'll give him a little bit of leeway. It's a bouncing rod, very bouncy. Could it be a tuna? If it is a tuna, mate, I am the luckiest man alive. Because one, it hasn't been sharked yet. And two, it isn't a shark. <laughs> very bouncy rod though, all of a sudden. Could this be a long tail? If it is, mate, I'm gonna be so happy. He's definitely sort of doing some circle work now. I don't want to get my hopes up though. It's like, but I'm surprised it hasn't rubbed off yet. If it is a shark, because he's definitely doing a lot of bouncing. That rod is too bouncy for a uh, shark. I bet it's a shark. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm expecting anything else now. Come on, let's find out. Oh, it's a long tail. Fire out. Get out of my way, bucket. <laughs> Let's take this seriously. Okay. It's a long time. Or maybe a yellowfin. What do we got? <laughs> Let's not muck around. All of a sudden we're very serious. <laughs> this will be just an epic finish for a very ordinary fishing trip. It's a long tail, far out. Come on, bud. Come this way. No sharks. Sharks get lost. Come on. <laughs> 